Hi everybody, may we pause for five minutes to think about life, God, and the Bible. It is Mental Health Week in my son's Peel District School Board in Ontario, Canada. As a parent, I support this effort. I agree that we need to be active and stay connected even though we might be physically distant. However, I am concerned with the spiritual aspect of mental wellness. How can we develop our relationship with God so that we can remain emotionally and mentally healthy? In the previous five-minute window, I shared about the peace of God that transcends all understanding and guards our hearts and our minds. I recommended that we pour our souls before Jesus, who is God who becomes a human being. Jesus then does all he can to bring his peace to us. We read Philippians 4, 6-7. Now we read Philippians 4, 8-9 and figure out how the practice of these two verses helps us maintain our mental health. Philippians 4, 8-9. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Philippians 4, 8-9. I wonder if you have heard this expression which comes from the computer world. Garbage in, garbage out. Paul tells the Philippian church not to put garbage into their minds because if they do, it is garbage in, garbage out. Instead, Paul tells them to put the things of grace into their minds. Whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, or admirable. If they do, it is not garbage in and garbage out. Instead, it is grace in and grace out. Truth, nobility, rightness, purity, love, and praiseworthiness speak of the grace of God. Paul tells the Philippians that if they want to be emotionally and mentally healthy, it is grace in and grace out. If they put healthy things into their minds, then their minds will become healthy. If it is grace in and grace out, what is the outcome? We read the next verse. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Philippians 4 and 9. Paul tells them if they want to see an example of a life lived where it is grace in and grace out, look at his life. And I wonder if you had mentors in your life who have reflected that kind of life, grace in, grace out. And whatever they have learned or received or heard or seen in Paul, put into practice. What happens when they do this? And the God of peace will be with you. According to Paul, if you want to develop a relationship with the God of peace, then you need to put the things of grace into your mind. Truth, nobility, rightness, purity, love, and praiseworthiness. When you put into practice these things, then the God of peace will reveal himself to you. You will develop your relationship with the God of peace. Earlier in Philippians 4, 6-7, Paul says, If you pour out your soul before Jesus in prayer, the peace of God will eventually come to you. Now in Philippians 4, 8-9, Paul says that if you put the things of grace into your mind, you will then have an output of grace in your life. Then the God of peace will be with you. Pray, and then you will experience the peace of God. Practice the things of grace. Then the God of peace will be with you. Amen.